Authorities will carry out a post-mortem on how a mishap happened to the popular Langkawi cable car facility. This is to calm down international and domestic tourists affected by the incident that left 16 out of 60 gondolas with 88 passengers dangling mid-air for four hours on Sunday. About 20 technical personnel worked on the glitch and rectified the problem and brought down 900 tourists, including over 400 of them from China who were stranded at the Langkawi Skycap station. So remember, we are going to listen from the rest, the, the rest crew as well. Okay. What other things from the police, from the Jabatan Bomba, other things that they, we, we, need, we need to do. Uh, because sometimes uh, you might overlook certain things because it doesn't happen every day. Yeah, true. Yeah, everything, true. we took it, everything. Yeah, because at the end, as far as the me mechanical thing, is every day in a service. Okay. We've been doing it. So other than that. Nah. Langkawi Development Authority, which owns the facility, said among the corrective measures will be a briefing to the Chinese embassy on the incident. The Langkawi MP said perhaps they should look at more advanced technology which could detect any glitches. Maybe kita can need uh, apa kata, latest tools. Okay. Uh, contohnya macam infrared scanner. Dia tak mahal tapi dia boleh scan ketika dia hangat. Okay. Uh, dia hangat before dia develop trouble, okay. dia hangat dulu. Uh, dia, kita boleh nampak temperature dia. And then at the same time dapat vibration analysis and also sound analysis. The incident happened around 6 p.m. and all the tourists were brought down only at 11 p.m. For now, everything is back to normal and tourists are enjoying a smooth ride again.